Ladies and gentlemen, here are three productivity apps and more specifically task management apps that you should try out because I have made this video before, but I really wanted you to see some more that are pretty cool. I mean, we talked about Todoist, Microsoft Todo, Tick Tick probably. And we're gonna talk about some other apps that maybe you just don't know exist. Number one is Endtask. Endtask has been around for a little while and can do anything from project to task management and even time tracking and timesheet management. The pricing on this guy is not bad at all. The most popular option is the business option for $8 a month. Seems like the target market here is more definitely for businesses than individuals. And it does start out from the cheapest side as $3 a month, which is pretty cheap. And you can also join over 250,000 teams for free. As you can see in the setup process, it's very company oriented with asking you what the team name and workspace name is. And they even have a little widget on the bottom left here that'll have you talk to sales so that you can book an appointment to discuss how Entas can help your business. It's very business oriented and they even have the option to have multiple workspaces but going into the baseline of here, you can see that it does have that old fashioned businessy task management feel. And you're able to add tasks, meetings, and even issues. So like a tickets almost here, like a bug feature or improvement standpoint. And it's got a lot of the basic stuff that you need, like list views, grid views, calendar views, which not all task management apps have. And from a timesheet perspective, being able to manage a task where if I, for example, were to add a new task, put a report, on those widgets and assign it to me. You can add the report on those widgets here and you could put how many hours it took and whether it was billable or not, which is a very nice system to have that you really don't have in a lot of other task management tools, just baseline for business. So if you're looking for a cheap solution for your business, definitely not a bad thing to check out. Then when it comes to a, another tool that's improved a lot recently and it's got a better website than it used to, uh, we got AnyDo, so AnyDo, from a pricing standpoint, starts at free, then premium is $3 a month and Teams is $5 a month. So this is more of a personal option. So I tried to give you a myriad of different alternative solutions to look at here. And from a free standpoint, it's really not bad. Uh, what you're getting for the premium version though is recurring tasks, reminders on WhatsApp, uh, colored tags, and other integrations. I will say that this is an extremely simple and easy to use application that I've reviewed before on the channel. And they've kind of done like a nice refresh of the UI. And you can even connect your Google Calendar extremely easily when you get into the application, which is not something that a lot of apps do for free and right out of the gate. So I'm appreciative of this. And it's got a great mobile app. It's on desktop, web, Mac. And you can see I got this all here today. And the baseline of this is pretty simple. You can look at your day. You can look at the next seven days from a board view, which like I said, I think it looks pretty good. And they've improved the way that it looks much since I've last worked in it. And then you can just have a list of all the different tasks that you got. And if you were working in a workspace with Teams, you'd have that option as well. So if you're looking for an alternative to Microsoft's To-Do, Todoist, or TickTick, I would definitely recommend checking this out because it doesn't hurt you trying this out for free. And uh, it does have a pretty good mobile app, especially for iOS as well. Now, last but not least, Notion. I mean, I'm a Notion guy, ambassador, insult, cons insultant, consultant sort of thing. I use it for all my task management. The reason being is if you're somebody who works as a creative, uh, I would kind of recommend checking it out. Um, I manage like my entire content calendar here, right? And this little actions page I have allows me to, you know, connect it to my priorities, my task list, my habits, notes, and just being able to like do this little to-do list of stuff where it's connected. So like this recording business as usual videos. This is connected to like my little content calendar and you just don't have that like nice synchronization with other basic task applications. I do not recommend that you actually use Notion for tasks if you're the average human being, because unless it's going to be connected to specific notes and specific project management stuff, that makes sense. It's kind of a, it's not really, it's more project manage than task manage and more content and knowledge management style than other things. So I would recommend this if you're a creative and looking for a place to manage your tasks alongside your creative projects. However, the first two options are great from a personal standpoint and from a business standpoint individually as well. If you wanna see any more tips on how to use Notion, aside of just hearing that it is a solid note-taking and task management app overall, I'd recommend you check out my course Mastering Notion. You can check it out on Skillshare. Just do the free trial and even cancel it before you have to pay. No worries there. And it'll give you four hours of content from start to finish on how to become an expert 
in Notion. Just like you can become an expert in improving your productivity by checking out this video right here.